Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your RAM for better performance if you guys are gaming or need it for a general application. This video is going to be covering it. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started without wasting any more time. All right, so head over to your windows and then you want to have to search for create a restore point over here. This is a very important thing because you don't want to mess up with your system. So select your local disk C, click on the create button and name it RAM just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this because it is really essential if you want to revert all of these settings back to normal. It doesn't work out well for you guys. Simply click on the close button and close it. This is just a safety measure. Now, once we are done with the safety measure, the second step is removing your temporary files. And for that, I would recommend you guys to press Windows and R key together and then you're gonna have to type in temp. Click on the continue button over here and you will be on a folder with all of the temporary files. Simply Ctrl and A to select all these files on here and press Shift and Delete. Press Enter and then you cannot delete some files, so you can simply skip them. Once all of that is done, simply close it. Next, press Windows and R key together and this time you're gonna have to type in percentage temp percentage press enter now over here do the same thing Control a to select all of them and press shift delete to delete all of these files once again some of them cannot be deleted because they are currently in use so skip them before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to hone.gg which is an ultimate tool to optimize your pc with just a few clicks you can go to the link in the description below and download hone for absolutely free on the free trial version you guys can enable up to 10 optimizations and i'm going to be telling you guys exactly which ones you need for the rest of your life head over to the optimizations tab and under the general tab you have to come down and enable general windows optimization head on and click on the activate button then come down and then you will find optimize a message signal interrupts you wanna have to enable that that's the second optimization you need over here third one is gaming optimization so simply enable that fourth is optimize io operations fifth is optimize memory management simply activate that sixth is optimize windows explorer simply activate that seventh is disable windows services eighth is general privacy optimization simply activate that ninth is the most important one which is disable mitigation simply enable that and the tenth one that you need over here is disable windows error reporting once all of that is done your memory would be optimized to the maximum level and that is all you need all of these optimizations are activated in one click once again hone also has a ton of premium optimizations under the advanced and the basic tab it also features a boost up tab where you guys can use the premium junk cleaner and other useful tools along with games where you can activate pros settings and optimization profiles in one click make sure to go check out hone.gg from the link in the description below and activate your pc's maximum potential right now next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape and this will open up task manager on your pc what you have to do is head over to the fourth tab which says startup apps over here and you'll find all of the applications installed on your pc once again i would recommend you guys to disable as many as you can over here most of these applications that you do not use right after the boot of your pc here is the thing when your pc boots up this application opens in the background and if you do not use them right after you boot your pc they are utilizing your cpu and ram resources for nothing simply disable every single one of these over here which you do not use and leave some of them like vg tray and any other service which you feel is important this will not only help you to reduce load on your RAM, but it also helps you to reduce the last BIOS time, which is the booting time for your PC. Next step is disable unwanted services like sysmain. For that, press your Windows and R key together and then type in services.msc, press enter on your keyboard. Once you're over here, select any service and press S on your keyboard, come down and then you'll have to find sysmain. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then you're gonna have to set the startup type to disable. Then if the service is already running, you have to click on the stop button and click on the apply button. Sysmain is nothing but prefetch and it is a service running in the background constantly utilizing your CPU and RAM resources. This generally has a higher impact on your CPU but it also consumes your RAM sometimes. So disable that and it helps you to reduce the load on your RAM as well. Once it is done, click on OK and simply close it. Now once again, if this step leads to any issues on your PC on a day-to-day -day basis, 
cases, you can always turn this back on. Next step is opening up PowerShell on your PC as administrator. We are going to be disabling memory compression. And to disable that, you're going to have to type in this command that is get hyphen mmagent and this will give you the status of your memory compression. You're going to have to make sure that this is set to false. For that, you're going to have to type in this command that is disable hyphen mmagent space hyphen mc. This disables memory compression. Press enter and it says that the service cannot be started because it is already disabled. Once again, this helps you to disable memory compression on your PC. If this is set to true, you're gonna have to run this command. And once that is done, it helps you to get rid of the service, which is constantly running in the background, ensuring that your memory is performing well. You do not want this service to run in the background because your system has more measures to keep it optimized. Once again, if this causes any form of issues on your PC or any errors that you guys are facing after this and you're not getting desired performance, you can simply enter this command that is enable hyphen MMA agent space hyphen mc and this will turn it back on next step is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows over here and once you're in the performance option you're going to have to select custom and then you're going to have to only enable animations in the taskbar save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts apart from this you're going to have to disable every single one of these animations on your pc which utilizes your cpu and ram resources in many cases once that is done click on apply however this might not impact your fps but it will make your windows and your normal day-to-day -day performance appear much more smoother then you're gonna have to set up virtual memory for which you're gonna have to head over to the advanced tab and then you're gonna have to select programs under the processor scheduling then you're gonna have to click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size now you're gonna have to select your local disk c and then you're gonna have to click on custom size for the initial size you can set this thing to 1000 and 24 or 1361 which is the value i prefer this is based on tests and benchmarks then for the maximum size you're gonna have to open up your calculator on your pc now you're gonna have to multiply your ram with 1024 to know your ram you can simply search for system information and then you're gonna have to look for install physical memory over here as it is 32 gb for me multiply that with 1024 and now you got your memory in megabytes a simple rule of thumb is setting the maximum size to half of your total RAM. So simply divide this by two and the new value that you get over here should be pasted without any commas and then you're gonna have to click on the set button. Click on OK and that should be it. This is how you optimally set your virtual memory which will be really beneficial if you are playing your games and you need some extra RAM headroom and you need some extra headroom on your RAM. Once that is done, simply close that. Now the next step is downloading the new RAM optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You you guys can also join my discord server for a downloading tutorial over here now you'll find in five very simple folders over here which are designed to optimize the flow of your ram here is how you can do that simply double click on the first folder which says ram optimization registries in which i have left a ton of registries according to your system i have 32 gb ram so you to double click and apply this registry on my pc and you need to apply it according to your system's ram once again if you have 6 gb you can apply that if you have 10 gb you can apply that if you have 20 gb you can apply that as well and once again if that doesn't give you the optimal performance and if that is causing any kind of issues or you're facing performance issues you can always reset this value back to normal next is batch files in which i have left the bear fox ram optimizer which is the star show you can edit it in notepad and see all of the commands that it is going to apply on your pc all of these is automatic so you do not have to manually type them on your command prompt so to run them you can simply right click and then run it as administrator as a batch file it will start running automatically and now i have already done that i'm going to be skipping this part third one is disable unwanted services in which i have left a ton of services on your pc which are absolutely useless and these services are responsible for consuming a system's resources in the background and inducing number of processes to reduce the performance of your CPU. To get rid of that, you have to double click and disable all of these services on your PC except any Bluetooth or printer service if you use them. Once again, by any chance, if you want to revert any of them back again, double click on revert registries folder and then you're gonna have to turn everything back again over here. Fourth one is power plan settings, which is really, really important. Right click on this one and then you're gonna have to run it as administrator. This will run a command on your PC which will add a new power plan. To activate that, you have to double click on power plans and then you're gonna have to select ultimate performance which should be added in this list. This power plan disables power saving features on your hardware including your RAM and this will help you to improve its performance. Once that is done, what you have to do is simply close it. 
Last is the programs folder in which I have left a memory duct, which is the latest version over here. Right click and then run it as administrator. Simply click on the next button, select I accept, hit next and then click next again. Now you're gonna have to click on install and then click on next. Click on run memory duct and then click finish. This will now open up the program. To depict how it works, I'll press and open up the task manager. To demonstrate how it works, we're gonna be going into the processes tab and then under the memory section. As you guys can see that right now, my PC is utilizing about 14 gigabytes of RAM. Now, as soon as I click on the clean memory button and then click on yes, it will now reduce the usage of my memory. Now, as you guys can see that my PC is barely using five gigabytes of my RAM, which is absolutely amazing. And this helps you to create a headroom on your system and it also helps you to optimize the performance of your RAM drastically. I would highly recommend you guys to run it every now and then when you open up your game. Once that is done, simply close it and close Mem Reduct as well. And you can also close the RAM optimization pack. Now here is one more bonus tip for you guys that is disabling power throttling manually using registry editor. For that press windows and R key together and this time type in gpedit.msc, press enter on your keyboard and this will open up local group policy editor. Now what you guys are looking for over here is administrative templates and then you will have to click on system. Then you have to scroll down and find power management. Open it up and then you'll find something called power throttling settings over here. Simply double click on turn off power throttling and then you will have to make sure that this is set to enabled. Click on apply and this will disable power throttling on your PC. It helps you to optimize the performance of all of your hardwares and if this causes any issues, you can always turn this thing back off. Once all of that is done, now you guys can drop into any game and do a performance test. If you guys find better results, you can leave that in the comments below. And once again, if this guide has helped you out, make sure to do leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more awesome guides and do leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll be open to reply all of you guys and I'll be giving a heart to everybody. Thanks for sticking around the channel and i would really appreciate you guys hitting the subscribe button because you are really close to 250,000 subscribers see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out